can you talk. Yeah. 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 We're assuming everybody's still alive. How quickly will we start seeing everybody in the first episode? Are we going to have some gaps where somebody's missing in that episode? Somebody might be missing for a while. Somebody might be. I don't know. Somebody. <laughs> All will be revealed September 21st. Yeah. <laughs> but everything? We can't really give that away. Can I was pretty surprised when I watched, when I read the first episode. I mean, I, obviously we knew the ending, but we had no clue. And when I read it, I was very excited about it. You know, it's exciting to see to see them do something different like that. You know, ending in the whole big fight and all of that is really, really neat. It makes for a very exciting open. Yeah, we were pretty, like, infuriated, actually. Some fans were like, what? You can't end it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so with, for the new season, um, of course, it, they always have great guest stars. Jason Priestley was, I think it was back, was back directing the Yes. Did he direct an episode of the season? Yep. What, what kind of guest stars do we expect and maybe what, what's coming to be next? Well, we just found out that one of the one of like one of my favorite characters from Game of Thrones is doing a guest spot this year. Oh, um, what's his name? And Ian Glenn. Ian Glenn, that's his name. Yeah, he's he uh he's with um the little blonde dragon girl. Yeah, the guy who protects her. Khaleesi. Yeah, yeah, but that's not his name. My name is Khaleesi. Right. Anyways, he's doing a guest spot. We didn't know about it, and, and actually we we told everyone they were wrong. <laughs> when they were like, hey, he's, that guy from Game of Thrones is going to be on your show. We're like, no, he's not. We're like, yeah, he's in episode six. I'm like, no, he's not. We just shot episode six, yeah. but apparently he is. Yeah. He's gonna we, be also, we also have um, a couple of my friends from a different project from Uncharted, the video game. Um, Claudia Black has actually been on sci-fi stuff before. She's just finished up um, a couple episodes with us. And then my good friend as well, Nolan North, who plays a uh, part of Nathan Drake in the video game. They'll be joining us as well. And then we have great people like uh, Bree Williamson, who's coming, and uh, Dorian Sick, who's coming also to Southland, and then Kate Kelton. So we've got a really a great group of guest people this year. Yeah. 69 days. Right. It's, oh, very <laughs> cool. Oh, fantastic. That's awesome. Why don't you give them your name, too, and what you're repping? Okay. I'm Laura. I'm Laura. Buddy, Buddy TV. Hi. Hi. Um, so, <laughs> next season, are you going to continue with the sort of this, the formula of the like, trouble of the week with the long story going with it, or is it going to be more long story, more week? How's that going to go? I think we'll always have that element to our show. So, you know, it's a kind of a thing that we hang the show off of, and that the characters are able to kind of react based on that. The trouble of the week. Um, yeah. But there's definitely much more mythology and overarching story being revealed this season in season three. Yeah. We definitely learn a lot more about this one. No, I just said in something and I think it's probably true. You, this season, uh, each episode, we probably learn more than we've learned in all of the first two seasons. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah. That'll be right? Cool. I mean, am I overstating it? No, that's no. totally true. I was standing outside a second ago. Yeah. And the sweet kids in Pinkberry just handed me a Pinkberry. Yeah. Wow. So I'm wow. pretty much in heaven right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you believe we're this close? I can't believe it. No, I'm, I'm Finch. Yeah. Oh, I'm just to myself. I know, it's really cute, isn't it? I know. Finch. 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 That's his first birthday. <laughs> I've got my pink. I mean, I'm. We'll do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever please. I want. It's a mystery with the big screen. Uh, and how do you drop it? Hi, I'm Cherry from Cena and I saw you guys yesterday. And we go way back, like two blocks. Like, yes, I've been following you since your movie. I saw you at Comic Con. Yep. And I see you wandering around LA because we go to the West Side people, sir. West Side. A wall. So I was wondering, since you guys are in such an isolated area of Canada when filming, does that give you a lot of time to try and figure out what's going on with the show and, and figuring out the mystery yourself and trying to pitch ideas to make your character the star of the episode? Huh. Well, if we were smart, it might. Yeah. No. I mean, no, we don't really have much time. Ever. Not much time to do that, huh? And on top of that, you know, we're on a four-hour time difference from our writers. It's not like our writers are there on location with yeah. us. So sometimes we're starting filming, you know, really early in the morning, and we have script questions. That it's like 3 a.m., right. you know, for them. So They send a writer up for each episode, and we sort of descend on them yeah. with all our ideas. Like right. good 
good and terrible. Yeah. And then hopefully they ignore everything we say and go back and write some good stuff. Yeah. I'm still, we keep pitching the idea where we're constantly like walking up behind Nathan and like trying to play with his ear and poke him, but he doesn't feel it. We just want to get that as like a recurring theme in the show. Uh-huh. Or the musical episode. We've and the musical. We've been, trying, we've been pitching that for years now. We've been pitching that forever. So you guys should sing? We yeah. do it. We'll yeah, we do. Play it. I mean, yes, this yeah. would be. We're like a family band. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're like, like the indie, Archer family. Like an indie folksy family. Band. Yeah. 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 But not like yeah. a creepy way. Not like in a carpenter way. Sometimes in a creepy way. Yeah, it could be. Haven. How can it not be? <laughs> 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 Tony Gelato, Sci-Fi Talk. I've done a few works since the beginning. Uh, Thanks, sir. Well, your works is Talk, by the way. Thank you. And um, for you guys, I mean, the arts you, your characters have been on, I mean, it just blown me away what they've done to you guys. What's it been like for you guys to get this right through and to see in the season so far how the evolution of these characters <laughs> Now you're going to have to think. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, it's a. They don't really tell. They don't really tell us anything. And and that initially maybe was a bit frustrating. Um, but and it, but yeah. But uh, continuing, I have now grown to appreciate it because I would rather learn what's going on as. Nathan does, you know? Um, so it's sort of blindly wandering into every script. And you don't get a sense necessarily of where you're headed or what's, what's going to happen beyond the next episode, which which has become much more comfortable for me than it was initially. But now I've embraced that, and it just sort of let it take me where it goes. What, what we do is so kind of ridiculous for a living. I mean, when you've sat around enough times and you've read a script and you go, my character wouldn't say that. I wouldn't do that. And then you stop for a second and you're like, what am I saying? I, it, it's there. That, that you, and you'll argue with the writers. Like, I would never do that. They're like, says who? We're the one who wrote it. I'm like, well, I just know my character. I know my character wouldn't do that. They're like, but we wrote it. We wrote the character. I'm like, well, so, you know, we, we, you know, we all get caught up in our heads and we make a really big, I do, I make a really big deal out of stuff and, you know, my character, wouldn't, how is he changing like this? Like, it's better than lane roofing. The bottom of the end of the day, it's better than lane roofing. Yeah. It's exciting, you know, I think I, I think I struggle with that a lot on the show of not knowing what's coming up, but I, I always try to use it in terms, because Audrey is just as frustrated that she doesn't know and that nobody's telling her and giving her any answers and that she feels like everybody around her knows. So I just always try to kind of piggyback on that feeling and try to just say, okay, well, if nobody is going to tell me and they're going to keep me in the dark, then I just got to use that to try to make it through the scenes today because that's a that's an identical feeling. But something that's been really fun this year and I think consistently is discovering the different people that Audrey also is. And that's been a challenge because now I actually have to figure out and put a, a voice and a face and create this other person, you know? So that's exciting from an acting standpoint because that opens up a whole different world and it's really exciting to, to get to open up an episode and say, yes, I get to be that person or something, you know? That's really fun. I dig, I dig the red hat. Yeah. But I'm just a fan of the ginger. I like it. Right. <laughs> hey. Ginger, red hair. And you guys elaborated was really kind of along the lines of to say it's how invested are you in your character and really you know what they should do, what they may do. So you really you really went over that. So I thought I want to take my time, I want a picture. Maybe well, wait, I want to be in it though. <laughs> hey, of course, come on now. So I wanna see um, my, you know, maybe somebody else could ask a question on some tea and I have a question for you. All right, Arc is going to be. I mean, some of the things we discovered in the first season was nobody knew exactly what 
exactly what was going on. But the second season, you guys kind of figured out where it's kind of stemming from and how to deal with it. Well, that would also, if, that would mean that they told us the end if we knew the arc, and we don't know that, so we can tell you up to a point, potentially. Yes. Without giving too much away, I will say I am super hopeful, then very hurt, then very suspicious, rightfully so, flirting with the dark side, realizing the error of my ways, <laughs> trying to get back to the light, very suspicious and hurt. And <laughs> Duke's big arc this season, and, and it's really exciting for me, is uh, Duke finally gets to pursue his dream of becoming a professional dancer. <laughs> and he's good. He's good. I mean, I really took a lot of inspiration from John Travolta and Stan Alive. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be great. Yeah. We had a little uh, actor on our show who said it best when he said, like so, Sean, so, I'm happy, 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 sad. He was like, yes, yes. Happy, 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 happy. Okay, on action, so I'll be happy, 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 sad. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little, a little guy. A kid. He was a little, oh, a little kid. I was like, I didn't know we had a little person. I was like, Why didn't we get Peter Ninklage? I mean, if we're going for a game of those guys, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I, I just have one more thing. Yeah. I mean, about uh, the dynamic of the three characters. If you like take one of them away, it's not the same show. You know, I mean, how do you guys balance that? I mean, that's, I mean, it's something that's on the script, but also as actors, there's something there. Honestly, I think it's one of the things that we all struggle with the most because inevitably you have to change up that dynamic to make that dynamic interesting. To bring them all together, you have to break them apart. And there are times throughout, especially this season, where the the groupings of us have been separated for periods of time and been split apart, and we're all sort of going on our own adventures. And I think one of the things we always miss is like, God, I miss the scenes when it's just the three of us, like yeah. hanging out, me and these characters, and that can be challenging because we, we, I think there is something to what you're saying. There's a really fun, special dynamic between the three of us yeah. on the show. Not so much in real life. Yeah, we really don't. I mean, like, don't, don't mind my hand under the table on his leg. Or on hers. I always leave you out. She's married. I know, we, we gotta be respectful. Yeah, yeah, it's different. And you have a girlfriend. Yeah, but you know, she's cool too. She's hanging out with Look, well, Look, I know for a fact that it's my girl's, my girlfriend's fantasy to see us make out. So. <laughs> Oh, yes. I know the other side of the love triangle. Yeah. The love triangle has obsessed and there we go. all summer. I, okay, I'm gonna pitch my idea. That means you're gonna be fighting and angry. I'm gonna pitch my idea for the episode. Okay, so there's a trouble, and this trouble happens, and it means that we all have to hide in the Grey Gull. It's the only place that's safe. We have to like spend a night there inside the Grey Gull because this thing is like passing over Haven. I don't know what it is. I haven't gotten that part. Somebody else will beat that up. So we're stuck in the Grey Gull all night. We can't leave there because we're hiding from this trouble. And we get drunk. We start drinking all night long. And then me and Nathan start to argue. And then at one point, we're staring at each other. And we just kiss. And then, wait, can I finish my idea? And then the next morning, we wake up. And then, and Audrey's like, um, you guys? And we're like, what? No, that wasn't like that at all. It was totally But yeah, that's going to happen.